English, what are you doing now? Sorry to disturb, but we really need some new words. What's the word for what you're doing now? To draw? Wonderful, uh, draw with a J, like a jar or judge. Mm, with a D like dog. Lovely. And now uh, what's the word for when a horse pulls a cart along? Horses draw carts. What incredibly talented horses. What's your word for when there are two or more winners of a competition or race? Oh, it's a uh, draw. And when you choose a winner at random? Let's call that a draw. Your word for when you take someone's blood? To draw blood. Uh, your word for when you get a boost of resilience? To draw strength? Your word for when you fill the bath with water? Run a bath. Oh, thank goodness, you know, there was a second there when I really thought that you were going to say, oh, but it's run, run a bath. Although, you know what, like, a bath isn't meant to be a marathon, it's meant to be relaxing. Fine, I will also say, why did I open my mouth? Draw a bath. And what will your word be for opening the curtains? Let me guess. It's draw, draw the, curtains. the curtains. You know, sometimes I think you're just lazy. Oh, so rude. Well, it is a bit of a coincidence that when I ask you for a new word, you just look around at whatever's nearest and then say it. Well, here's something you won't be able to get around. If draw the curtains is your word for opening the curtains, what is your word for closing the curtains? Oh, I know. And it also can't be make, put, set or do or run. Those verbs are exhausted. Oh, well... Oh no. I have an idea. And don't forget, you've already said... What if I used... Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Draw the curtains. Darn it, English, you know that the opposite of draw the curtains is now draw the curtains. I think it's very elegant. I think it's very unique. Thank you. What's next? You know, I don't even want to say. Oh, you want to draw this out, do you? I think I'd like for this to end. You mean, draw to a close? Oh, can I just leave? You want to withdraw from the conversation? I think I need to go somewhere very far away from this conversation and try not to think about horses sketching carts. You think that having so many meanings to the word draw might have certain drawbacks? I think it is starting to make you look quite drawn. Wait, oh, what does that mean? Oh, it means sickly looking. Maybe you're right, maybe I should just put you down for draw for whatever's next on my list and we can call it a day. Like, what is last on your list though? Does it matter? You're just going to say draw. I will not. Oh, I bet you will. I totally won't. Fine, what is your word for a little shelf that pulls out of a chest or cabinet? Shall we just say draw? No. No? No. What is the word going to be? A draw. That is what I just said! Uh, it's a different word because it has ER at the end. Drawer? No. Draw. Two completely useless, purely decorative letters on the end. So you can pretend it's a different word. Oh, perfect. So, um, do you like my drawing? Oh, um... Is that Italian? Yeah, it's... Do you think I should, like, show it to her? Maybe.